State Community and Social Development Agency, EXEDA, is an organization designed to foster community-driven development initiatives in the state. agency is currently executing delivery link indicator DL 1.4 of the equity COVID-19 action recovery and economic stimulus tagged ECCARES, which is a critical component of the state's response to the pandemic associated with COVID-19 and other socioeconomic problems. The mandate and objectives of the agency are tailored towards empowering local communities in Ekiti State to take charge of their development processes. This enables communities to identify, plan, implement and monitor development projects that are crucial to addressing their immediate and long-term needs. Exeter, established and funded by the Ekiti State Government, operates within the framework of the community-driven program and supported by the World Bank. The general manager of the agency is Mr. Yemi Alatishi. Ekkeas is a domesticated name from uh, Nigeria Kias, which is a project designed Intrapetite with the World Bank and federal government and the state government to provide a little bit of succor for the people uh, after the outbreak of uh, COVID-19. Uh, the two tiers of government, in conjunction with the World Bank, discovered or realized that as at that time, a lot of people were thrown into abject poverty as a result of the outbreak of uh, COVID-19. Uh, their livelihoods were badly affected basic infrastructure were totally not functioning anymore because people could not uh, have resources to sustain the existing ones and even those that were in existence were inadequate to cater for the aftermath effect of the outbreak of COVID-19 and so the government both at the state and the federal had to put us together as to see how they can really assist the badly affected citizens of the nation on how to come out of the shock that uh, resulted from the outbreak of uh, COVID-19. A key aspect of the Exodus strategy is the participatory approach to social infrastructural development in the state. The methodology ensures that communities are deeply involved in all stages of project development, such as initial project selection and subsequent management. The agency is currently intervening in four key areas as approved by the state government. They are education, earth, water and sanitation as well as flood and erosion control. Mr. Femi Ujuawu is the Director of Finance and Administration. He speaks on the selection process of benefiting communities. As it is into community infrastructural provisions like water, like um, education facilities, like um, uh, water and sanitation, environmental issues, erosion control, health facilities. So if you, what you're requesting in your community force under this is disaggregated and those lists are sent to us from Mr. Governor's office. We also pick you after looking at the poverty map and other indicators that we are supposed, other indices we are supposed to use. So in essence, I want to sincerely on behalf of the agency, I appreciate Mr. Governor because I can say very clearly, unlike what happens in some, some places where they bring politics into all this job, Mr. Governor has given this agency a free hand to use the normal procedures of identifying communities that should benefit. So it's the poorest of the communities, whether you are a community supporting the opposition party a community supporting the ruling party, whether you are a Muslim community, a Christian community, or you belong to other religions, all those ones don't play here. Poverty does not know color, does not know religion, does not know even ethnicity. Mr. Folari Oshatuyi is in charge of monitoring and evaluation. He explains how the agency ensures that the CPMC sticks to the guidelines of the project implementation collect data 
across sectors of implementation as to know how far they are going in order to correct any noticeable uh, misapplication of uh, rules and guidelines so that we can quickly do a data run and see how far they are going. We do a lot of uh, research on uh, community growth, community um, scoping. We do a lot of things on how the project can be well implemented based on existing guidelines so that they will not move outside the guidelines. The guidelines are very strict. So that, that, that is why we have a very, very low rate of uh, misapplication of funds in the communities. And you know communities do these things themselves. So we don't have work contract. Community will implement the part finance through their contribution, uh, counterpart contribution, and they implement on projects that they decided on their own. So without any intervention from the agency. So Currently, the number of benefiting communities stands at 238 and the breakdown of completed and functional micro-projects across the communities and their sectoral classification are education 116, earth 142, water and sanitation 191, flood and erosion control 43, totaling 492. Exeter has trained 1,980 CPMC members for capacity building on projects implementation, participatory governance, and project sustainability. I'm highly respected chairman of uh, CPMC and members that are here this morning. You are all welcome to this uh, program. I want to say to me, to go to the internet, to the power. That's for me, it's easy. We get the ability to go again. So we will not make a shame, no need. We will go to the power. And you know, they know, they will go to the power. They will go to the power. They will go to the power. It's just not for public, the SICD, for us to have understanding of the process. But in other to the guideline, then we can move further. On our map, we will be able to do that. But I will stay to what it is on that end. We will do a couple of what it is done. Then, we will push more projects, basic projects in the city. The agency was also able to resolve four project implementation related crises across the state. The projects of the agency are spread across the three senatorial districts of the state, namely South, North and Central. Each of the projects has a community project monitor committee which ensures its implementation from the scratch to completion and sustainability. The CPMC members, the traditional rulers of benefiting communities as well as other stakeholders gathered at the government house grant in Adwekiti where the governor, Mr. Biodun Oyibanji, presented charts of other projects' values to them. I'm proud of the successes that Exida has achieved in the past one year, especially in getting the deliverables ready for the implementation of basic services, infrastructure. I therefore urge and reward royal fathers, chiefs, other statement are the community project management committee members to see this as a collective responsibility and take ownership. We must ensure qualitative and timely delivery of this project for the good of our people. Given an overall assessment of the performance of Exida, the Ekiti State Governor, Mr. Biodun Oyibanji, scored the agency I in grassroots development. The economy of any state is the um, combination of the economies of all these communities that make up that state. And part of our strategy is to ensure that we leave no community behind. And Exida has been so critical in this because if you look at our budget uh, strategy, 
we go to this community to ask them that what do you want us to do for you and we also realize that most projects to be sustainable and to meet the needs and aspiration of every community is better those projects come from each community so what exit does is to go to this community and ask them that look give us three projects that you think that will make more meaning to your livelihoods they come up with these projects we do the costing and federal government the world bank and the state government we collaborate at the community and fund the project but in funding the project the community themselves they will take ownership of implementation what that does is is that because the project comes from them you know sustainability will not be an issue because that has been a major bane of development and i know that exidan across the state have so many pro- projects that have been completed and the people are put into use they set up a committee to ensure that this project serves the need of the people so i'm i'm extremely happy with how far they have gone and government will continue to to support them the honorable commissioner for budget economic planning and performance management mr niyi atebayo whose ministry is supervising the agency says that exida with the support of the oyibanja administration has performed creditably in community development through the various micro projects spread across the nooks and crannies of the state exida's role is to upgrade the infrastructure in all of our communities in our rural areas covering different sectors from education to health like renovation of primary health care uh, units uh, what we call maternities uh, or you know um, consulting clinics that are in our rural areas uh, creation of borehole infrastructure where uh, portable water is uh, a problem or a challenge in some of those communities and also you know trying to fix some of the roads that may have been adversely affected by you know maybe erosion uh, and those kind of things because being able to move around is also an economic uh, matter so if people cannot move because the roads are impassable then it also affects their ability to go about their daily lives the way they ordinarily will they also want to go to farm may not be able to go the women who are going to the market and men who are selling may not be able to access the market it also may mean that those who need to buy from these markets will be challenged as to be able to even go to the market and come so that's where exit that comes in to help to build the infrastructure that keep life going in this uh, in these communities and i i feel very uh, proud of the um, of uh, exit of the agency in how they have executed uh, uh, all of the projects that they've done uh, they they pay close attention to uh, what they are doing and you know they work with different communities these communities are usually put in charge but i must say that exida takes pains to ensure that they supervise each of the committees that the community set up for each of these projects and they ensure that they are adhered to the to the terms of engagement and that all of the projects are executed in accordance with the guidelines of uh, the ng cares project also the permanent secretary of the ministry Barista Olushola Akinluyi speaks on the transparency in the operations of Exida. The agency has been effective in delivery on the mandate given to the agency. Activity of agency basically is community driven such that the communities they bring up programs and projects to be executed within the community. And in most cases that so it has to do with water erosion control flooding and the likes and on this mandate the agency has been very very effective the feedback from the community shows that the agency is delivering on the mandate not only that we have the monitoring unit in our ministry where we go about monitoring activities of the agency and we i can confirm that what we meet on ground conforms to standard and is up to standard as required by Free government and World Bank in respect of EKKS program. Mr. Festus Ogunrite, who is the state coordinator of EKKS, affirmed the efficiency of Exida in the delivery of micro projects in the state. 
Exida being a veteran in this area of uh, uh, community uh, infrastructural development and uh, you know I have much a uh, problem working with them because the experience over the years has really helped you know in delivering the results of uh, this program. Then I want us to also understand that um, the EKK, I mean the NGK came up as a result of uh, the effect of COVID-19 on the socio-economic side of all Nigerians and uh, the emphasis now that the need for the poor and vulnerable who are much more affected, particularly the communities, they want to be supported, they want for the loss of uh, uh, opportunities, loss of income and the uh, social uh, amenities uh, you know, uh, that arose as a result of the lockdown occasioned by the pandemic. And uh, HESIDA has not done bad. They have been giving us uh, good results. You know, all their awards are dotted all the com across all the community in the 16 local governments of the states. And it's obvious, visible for all to see. Uh, it cannot be contested. And uh, when you look at the area of erosion control, uh, on the environmental sector, you see the construct uh, drainages and culverts. Then the area of uh, water supply, the, the, the construct of the installation of uh, uh, these. Uh, 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 solar power boreholes, and uh, when you look at the area of Earth, they have also done well because some of the structure we had before now in all these facilities that have even been put in place for maybe over 30 years have become dilapidated. So, with this program, the intervention are really supported in making sure that some of these lapses gaps are be filled. So, some of them are pulled down, even some newly you know are constructed apart from the renovated ones. And uh, by the time the community see the good work they are doing, they'll be coming up with a request. And every of those communities where this intervention are taking place, you know, they are, they are, they are, they are placing the, the state government uh, in collaboration with the federal government that put this project uh, you know, possible. The agency has recorded tremendous success in all the projects executed across the length and breadth of the state, as attested to by the community members and beneficiaries. The general manager of Exeter, Mr. Yemi Alatiche, speaks on the funding envelope for EcCare's projects. Due to increasing economic hardship, the present governor unanimously approved the increment of the funding envelope of the project for two minimum two CDPs from 15 million naira to 21 million naira. And considering the fact that people are Becoming poorer and poorer, he also further gave approval that from 2.5, which used to be the contribution for, from the communities, that it further be reduced to 1.5. So it has made the project so easy. The governor has so made it easy for communities to participate, to to benefit from, and for people with disability, they have just have to pay 0.5 percent. So that is how communities uh, participate and uh, get involved in the project. Randomly, the projects selected for this publication are of high quality. At Ise Comprehensive High School, Ise Kiti, the projects executed were the renovation of the examination hall, procurement of home economic tools like sewing machines, gas cooker, ports, stoves, cutlery, and science equipment. The school principal, Mr. Folaromi Jacob and the school head boy Fashui Uluwafemi commend Exeter for coming to their aid. The hall was so so bad, so dilapidated. So there was no way for this one we were finding it difficult. We had to sit for the exam. But by the grace of God, we moved front and we came in contact with Exeter. So when we came in contact with them, we tell out our uh, our needs. And by the grace of God, they, we succeeded. The opportunity given to us was a huge opportunity from the Exeter. As we now write exam comfortably, it's not a conducive place for us to write our exams. But we continue to be with the governor and those that are working together with him. At Ise General Hospital, Ise Kiti, Exeter's intervention included drilling of a solar-powered motorized ball, provision of solar lights and medical equipment. Dr. Aziz Atunda is the chief medical director. At first, it was like a film. When the youth of the town approached the facility and asked us 
for the things that we think may boost our performance in the hospital. We thought it was quite a joke when we made a comprehensive list of the things that will actually improve our functionality in the hospital. And that should be around them April. To my surprise, within the space of two months, it came as a shock when I saw a 5 kVA complete solar inverter set and um, some very expensive laboratory uh, equipment and also some five three crank beds very beautiful ones and what screen and many other things like that it's been beautiful at the united comprehensive high school also at Tiseguti, the projects executed include the purchase of 120 chairs and lockers for the examination hall, which has already been put to use. The school authority approached them and uh, they laid their, their shortcomings and problems. And uh, we thank God that uh, the agency quickly intervened and solved this uh, problem. In fact, it is a very good gesture. We've been trying, we've heard about them in a very other, other schools. So we also appreciate our governor, at least for financing this, uh, this body. With the support of the LCDA and the state government, led by uh, our governor, Mr. Bao. So we were really appreciated there for giving us the honor and to support us. At Ikerekiti, the government special school for the blind was not left out of the Exodus intervention. The agency assisted in the construction of an examination hall and equipped it with 60 chairs and lockers, provision of solar lights and medical equipment for the health center in the school. The stakeholders bear their minds on the success story. Because um, when we are talking about school setting, there is a need for a conducive environment and that is what Mr. Governor is uh, after for this school, especially persons with disabilities. So it's very interesting in our uh, comfortability and a conducive environment for our students and that is why this was given an approval, even a quick and fast approval and provision were made. So for now, it makes it easy for our students to, you know, write uh, their exam in a conducive and uh, comfortable environment. So we thank God for His Excellency and the uh, agency. This project is going to help our, our students a lot because they have access to to the hall as in by using it for their examinations. There's no need of going to the secondary school again to do exam because at times when they go to secondary school to write exam, the you know we make use of typewriters. So at times the teachers there they do tell us that we are disturbing their students with that sound of the typewriter. But by the provision of this uh, building now, no need of writing exams with the other students again. At least they are now free to write theirs in this hall. At the Corpus Christi College, Ilawekiti, the Exeter projects executed were the renovation of the examination hall, supply of chairs, and renovation of the administrative block. The representative of the school principal, Dr. Dari Akidele, applauded Exeter for the execution of the projects. In the past, this hall, it wasn't like this, it was reshaped. This is our school at Ogos Hall for examination, different external examinations. You know, like this rainy season now, students will be moving their lockers and chairs from the hall because of the drop of the rain. But as soon as this hall has been renovated, we have been enjoying every bit of examination from here. Even the placement of other schools, the children love to be here. So we have been using it for external examination, for internal examination, as you can see today. Also, the chairman of Abek Community, Chief John Chekade, commended the agency and the Ekiti State Government for the projects, which he said had impacted the students and the community positively. Uh, Exida used to come here to assess the feasibility of those needs, and the meeting was arranged. The 
between the committee which was set up at the instance of Resida, of which I happen to be the chairman. We were able to agree on the two projects after considering others. Also, a solar-powered motorized borehole was provided for Olorun Shogo community in Ilawekiti. Mrs. Amujo Taiwo says that the intervention has brought to an end the stress of getting water from far places. <laughs> At the Kole local government area in Ekite North Centurial District, Exida intervened by providing a solar powered bowl at Ansarudin Central Mosque and renovation of a basic health center in the community. The community people appreciate the agency for the intervention. The Exida has really done well for this health facility and the other community. Uh, after the renovation, we are very happy because the building itself, me are looking at it uh, on your way coming in, you will know that something good has been done in that facility. The renovation has, has been so fantastic and it has been enabled us to see a patient that was, rain is not disturbing us again. Even our, uh, cha our deliveries, we have been able to deliver more services to our people. The care is more accessible to our people now, more than ever before. At Odua Yedun, the intervention of the agency included construction, procurement of medical equipment and drilling of a solar pad for all at the community health center at Imila. A health official, Mrs. Uluwale Karulai, says the intervention has brought relief to the people of the area. We really appreciate them now. We appreciate them for good work that they have been doing. And we are very impressed. At the Uduayodun Primary School, also at Imila, a block of classrooms was renovated. The headmistress, Mrs. Aribisala Olajumoke, says that the pupils now enjoy a conducive learning environment. We really appreciate the efforts of Exida for the work done, the job well done, for giving this place a face lift. And this will enable the pupils to assimilate what they have been taught in the class. At Itakwaikiti, the Exeter projects there included construction of a science laboratory building at Itakwaosi Comprehensive High School. The vice principal, Mrs. Olati Mei Funke, says that the building would enhance the study of science subjects. Having this project on the compound, at least improves the capability of the students. Physics, chemistry, biology. And even with the structure, the students are even willing from other subjects to spread science subjects classes. A solar powered motorized ball was equally provided for the residents of Oroke Street in Itakwaikiti, where Mama Deborah Ajiboye thanked the agency for the life saving intervention. <laughs> At Oloje Kiti, Exida supported the community in the drilling of a motorized solar powered borrow which has been serving the people of the area as attested to by Mama Florence Fabi. In 
Isao Yekiti in Moba local government area enjoyed the renovation of a F facility, a solar powered borehole, and security lights in the community. Oba Olajide Gabriel thanked Exeter and the state government for the projects, which is said have been having great impact on the people. The project is so much awesome. Then we thank God for the intervention of uh, Mr. Governor and the Exida for coming to our aid in the community because we are so uh, happy to have them. Also, a health worker, Mrs. Adebayo Adefunke, said that the facility had improved health care delivery in the area. At the Autumn General Hospital, the agency supported them in the procurement of shops and medical equipment as appreciated by health personnel, Mrs. Bello Catherine, emphasizing that the equipment have been of great use to the people. We are happy to be a part of the people that have benefited from the job shop because with all these things in place, like Sonic Cage, the new instrument that we use to measure the heartbeat of the inborn fetus, unlike in the olden days that you have to, you know, press the tummy of the pregnant women that they will begin to feel pains and feel uncomfortable. But with this, we are happy to be part of the gesture. Our appreciation to the exeter the state government, the pray the Almighty God will continue to shower his mercy upon them. And more. Exeter under the AKS also supported in the construction of e-library and the provision of library equipment at Adilti Secondary School, Austin Road in Otwinkiti. The principal of the school, Mrs. Oyemi de Cecilia, says that the computer sets and the solar-powered Wi-Fi have been useful for both the students and the teachers in research and e-learning. They've done well and we pray that they will continue to do good things for us. We are happy with the project because we don't even pay for it at this time around. But when they came and told us they are going to give us this uh, e-library in fact, we are very happy. We are very happy. The staff and students are very happy with uh, the project. At Idwekiti, the agency supported the community in the drilling of a solar-powered motorized borehole at Onala Street. Residents of the area expressed appreciation to Exeter and the state government for making their dream come to a reality. <laughs> The renovation of the VIP toilet at St. Michael's United Cherubim and Seraphim Nursery and Primary School, Idwekiti, is also worthy of mention. The Secretary of the Community Project Management Committee, Mr. Gwenga Olubopade, applauds the agency and government for ensuring the actualization of the project. And we have to acknowledge the support of the Mr. Governor, uh, Mr. Oyibanji Abayomi Abiodun, and the Exida Agency for sponsoring and initiating this laudable project. And we are very happy that our community we are beneficiary of the project. Uh, here in Idwekiti, we are having three different uh, projects in different locations. At Ido Ward 1, we do have a solar powered borehole 
which situated at okay yeah, at Odo Yedi, at the frontage of the Aladeshose house, while the second one at the in in Idwekiti War Two is also located at the frontage of uh, Faku Faku at this house at Onola Street, Idwekiti. This is a VIP renovated pr uh, project, VIP toilet right. here at uh, Saint Michael. Ido Ekiti is financed and sponsored by Exida under the leadership of our able governor Bao. And uh, also in Ado Ekiti, under the Ekes, the agency supported in the drilling of a solar-powered motorized bowl at Awedele Market. Overwhelmed by the intervention, the marketers invited the management of the agency to the site to show how happy they were with the support. Speaking on behalf of the others, the Yaloja Chief Oluwafunke Okunride said that the facility had brought relief to the marketers. Umbered by the acceptance of the project, the general manager of Exeter, Dr. Yemi Alatishi, urged them to own the facility and ensure its maintenance. Well, my major message to them is that they should sustain the project, they should maintain it, they should look after it, they should guide those projects very jealously. Let it be there, let those projects be there to their very hearts so that the essence of uh, government spending huge sums of money on those projects will be justified. So, and then, so if we can talk with you, we need to see your value. If you want to talk with you, I think I'll tell you, so if we can talk with you, you can talk with you, you can talk with you, you can talk with you. Also, the Bashiri Health Center in Nadwekiti was supported with a solar-powered motorized bowl and the community people could not thank the agency enough for the intervention. <laughs> At Iloro Ikiti, the agency intervened in the renovation of the community health center and the staff quarters, drilling of solar powered motorized borehole, provision of solar electricity, and procurement of medical equipment for the facility at Okio District. This did not go unnoticed as the stakeholders thanked the state government and the agency for the lifeline. This is our state, for being innovative and funded by ESIDA. These are the medical equipment funded by ESIDA. Bobo, do you want to share to share it? Community. 
tan kan tin won du lo jojo ojumo se oni ka so ni abi ile to ndo merin merin te ajo si da se fun ilu loro ikiti to se wi pe ape wa wo ni ko se ni to ma ko galibito ni ma sadu afo awon ajo si da pe won se gan ni won ku se takun takun o mu ilo o gbe loro laruge in Arikiti, Exeter assisted in the provision of a solar-powered motorized bowl and renovation of the health center. This place is not that okay before. But now after the Exeter project, after the, uh, the project has been completed, we can see the place is lively, is in a good uh, limelight. And we are very, very happy having this kind of a project renovation here. Because how to improve our health services, Ojeki community continue access to good health services and the good infrastructure. And back in Nadwekiti, the Onola Moses Falai Bridge that links Afar Road from Adeon Kawash was constructed through the support of the agency. The people of the area applaud the government and the agency for ensuring the actualization of the long term dream. As you can see, it controls the frequency and waves of this water from damaging other people's farms and other things. And before, we used to have slow movement of cars in this place. Like, it used to be more muddy and very on. I can't say I can't say it was managed well, but now, as you can see, there's a lot of improvement and everything is going fine. Uh, the road is very bad before. Because we are doing it before, but it's not, we can't get able to finish the bridge. So we now went to the government to help us. So I will thank God for Mr. Bao, our SMS, that he helped us to finish our bridge. Before, because before, the bridge is not well okay. We can't even pass there. But now we are so happy that we can be able to pass there now. So we are thanking Mr. Governor, our Excellency Bao. At Owode Community, 400 meters drainage system with a culvert were constructed while a solar powered motorized ball was also sunk. Prince Ojo Adeniyi Olubinga is a resident. Before the intervention of uh, Estida, we don't have water here. We have water problems. Uh, this people used to go to other communities to go and fresh water, go to call palatable. Then, when I talk the time of drainage, too, we don't have. The general manager of the agency gave assurances that many communities will still benefit from the community development drive of Exeter. Those that are eager to come to benefit or participate in the project, we, will, we can only advise them that people should not see the project as one of those means of sharing a national cake. Because money that is going to be given to your community is meant to be spent on the project. Well, what we have actually done also is to set aside a pool of funds to support this agency. But because the procurement process is a bit cumbersome, they have to go around the communities, look at this project, do costing, get the community to in place a committee that will implement that project. So it's only when all those processes are met that we can now disburse. But they do that in phases. So we continue to support them as, as, as long as they come to us with requests, all those requests will be met. Well, my charge is um, the reward for uh, good work is more work. Uh, we are still happy with what they are doing and they should keep, they should keep it up. And I will also commend the communities because in most of these communities, they've exhibited the higher sense of responsibility and transparency in managing that program and the projects. Okay.